I'm pregnant for my stepson. My name is Mrs. Olajumoke. Hi guys, welcome to the Street Life Story. I am 35 years old and I have been married for the past 17 years. For 17 years, I have been praying for the fruit of the womb. I and my husband have been to different hospitals for medical checkup, but all to no avail. The doctor said we are both fertile, meaning we can both make babies. I married my husband at age 18 and I was still a virgin. My husband Joshua has always been there for me in everything, understanding and supportive in our trying time. About two years ago, my childhood friend advised me on what to do. Following her advice, I remembered Bio, my 22 years old house help. Bio has been with us since he was 8 years old. We treated him as if he was ours. My husband traveled to his hometown to see his people. So I utilized the opportunity. I locked Bayo in my room and begged him to have sex with me. He refused I'm at very first. Stupid. I'm very then I threatened him that I would yeah. send him back to the village. He later agreed. So we had sex five times before daybreak. The next day, my husband came back. 13 days later, I became pregnant. Unknowing to Bayo, I was pregnant. I gave him 1 million naira, told him to take the money and go back to the village. The little chap was gratefully satisfied. I eventually told my husband that I was pregnant and he instantly became the happiest person in the world. He called his mother, updated them about the news, and they started buying kids' clothing and toys. Few months later, we did a scan, and the doctors told us it was twins. Glory be to God. I gave birth to Taiwo, female, and Kende, male. Two days ago, my husband woke me up in the middle of his hands, held me close to his arms, looked me in the eyes and asked me, Jumoke, who is the father of our kids? I was shocked, scared that he must have known somehow. I just knew he had known because of the way he asked me. I didn't know what to say. I was so shy because I knew I have betrayed his trust. I looked at his eyes and I burst into tears. He then told me, Jumoke, before you start talking, I have a confession to make. I cleaned my face, sat up straight. He went ahead and told me he had unprotected sex with a girl in his village and contacted STD before he got married. And now he didn't treat it for a long time. That eventually when he went to the hospital, the doctors told him that the STD he didn't treat on time had be made him sterile meaning he can't impregnate a woman he said he treated the std before he got married to me and he has always known that he was sterile and that all those tests we have been doing and paying doctor he has been paying the doctors to give me a wrong result he also added that the woman he had sex with back then got pregnant and the child is bio our house help he also went ahead by saying that he has always wanted to tell me to look for someone to impregnate me but he did not just have the balls to do so but now that i have done it he would like to know the father i fainted what do you think jumoke should say if she finally regains her consciousness 
i'll be in the comment section listening to your advice to jumoke remember to like this video and if you are not yet subscribed subscribe for more stories like this